In the world of batteries and technology, you know that we love to share with you guys interesting innovative products that can help to make our lives easier. You might remember a few months ago, I charged my Tesla up off a massive portable battery bank. Well, this is a slightly more portable version of that very bank. As you guys know, we've been using portable power stations for a few years now to help run our customers' Wi-Fi when we're doing EICRs and we're turning the power off, but we also use them for stuff like this. So right now, this studio light is actually being powered by this portable battery system. And I wanted to talk to you guys about this today because I think it might be of interest to some of you, whether you're electricians like us and you're turning the customer's power off quite regularly, or whether you love to go camping or do outdoor stuff, or whether you just need backup power at your home, getting yourself one of these can really make a difference to your life. I just thought I'd throw you a few factoids about this, show you how it works and what I love about it, and then I'll leave you guys to decide whether it's something that you think you could benefit from or not. This is sponsored, I'll just let you know that, but I'm just gonna give you my honest opinions about it as always, and we only recommend products that we genuinely enjoy using and believe in. So this is the EcoFlow River 2 Max. Let me talk to you about some of its features. So it's got a 512 watt hour capacity. Now what are watt hours and what's the difference between watt hours and watts? Well, I have tripped up on this a few times myself in the past. So to explain it very simply, a watt hour is the amount of energy that's used by something that takes one watt for one hour. So a kettle, for example, if it runs at 2000 watts, if you run a kettle for one hour, that will use 2000 watt hours of electricity or two kilowatt hours of electricity. Watt hours are the unit of measurement that we use when we pay for our electricity. So you'll see on your electric bill, how many kilowatt hours of energy you've used. That is essentially how many kilowatts you've used for how many hours. So this has a 512 watt hour capacity. What that means is that I could plug something in that runs at 512 watts and it would last one hour before the battery is drained. Realistically, for the kind of gadgets that you want to charge up and plug in from this, you're not going to be using that amount of power. So for example, this light that I've got plugged in right now, it's only using 35 watts. So I could run this, if you do a bit of quick math, I could run this light for about 13 hours off of this 512 watt hour battery. Now when it comes to portability, that's really important for little battery systems like this. You don't want it to be too heavy that it breaks your back every time you have to move it around. For our guys, they're gonna be taking these on and off site to plug the customer's Wi-Fi in, and run any other important things, charge their phones off them probably as well. Our cameraman is gonna be having this in the back of his car so that he can charge up all the mics and camera batteries and stuff. This River 2 Max, which is the latest in their lineup, is actually a lot lighter than the previous uh, one that they had, and it only weighs six kilos, or 13.4 pounds, definitely easy enough to, to carry around. One of the cool things about this is that it has app connectivity and you can actually turn stuff on and off with your mobile phone from wherever you are in the world. So I can think of some really interesting use cases for that in real life and I'll show you how that works right at the end so make sure you watch to the end of the video for that. In terms of the cycle life, 3000 cycles. So obviously with batteries, they last longer if you charge and discharge them less. So the lifetime is rated in cycles rather than years, but 10 years is a rough guide for how a normal person using it, how long it would last. Now you can charge it up in a number of different ways. So you've got a normal 13 amp plug top that you can just plug it into a normal socket at home and charge it up. And it's rapid charging on this. So it will charge up fully in one hour, which is amazing. So you've got quick turnaround. If you do need to charge it up again, you're not gonna wait all day for it to charge up. But you have other ways of charging it up too. So you've got a DC 12 volt input. So if you're driving around in your van and you wanna charge it up from your cigarette lighter socket, you can do that. And you can also charge it up from solar panels 
just like the other battery system from EcoFlow that we showed in a previous video where we had these amazing solar panels laid out and they were charging the battery, well you can do the same with this mini battery too. So in terms of the outputs here, we've got a USB-C port, which we're actually running our laptop off right now. We've got these three USB-A ports, which is like your traditional USB. We've got two, what I would call 13 amp socket outlets. And then we've got a DC output for like your cigarette lighter type thing. And we've also got these two little DC ports here, which would normally come out of like a power pack that you would use to run a laptop or something. That's basically this. So you can plug this into the battery and then rather than having a 13 amp socket with a power pack and then this, you've got that little lead connection which will go into your device, whatever that happens to be. And you've probably got a little adapter that you can use to change this up as well. So it's basically flexible enough to power pretty much anything that you need to power. Now it does have a 500 watt maximum capacity, so you're not gonna be able to run like a kettle off of it, but you can run anything up to 500 watts which is pretty powerful still. And for most general devices around the home that you might want to power from this, that is absolutely plenty. So this is the River 2 Max, which is kind of the mid range battery, but they have two other products either side of it. You've got the River 2, which is slightly less capacity, and then the River 2 Pro right at the top end, which has an even bigger capacity than this. It, it's an 800 watt output capacity and it has 768 watt hours of battery capacity in it. So here's the thing, it's all well and good me talking about this amazing battery that EcoFlow have just released, but how do I really know if it's any good? The only way is to test it to its ultimate limit. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm here in my home office and I've got my full desk set up here, monitor, laptop, I've got my phone charging up, another laptop charging up, some batteries, I've got my iPad over here, I've got my printer, I've got the DJI mics that we're using to do this video right now, I've got a lamp, there's a lot of stuff going on in my office and I'm wondering, can I run this entire setup off the EcoFlow River battery? So, let's chuck this bad boy on here, turn it on. So I'm gonna plug my extension lead in here first. And then see how many things I can plug in. First things first, I'll take my main extension lead. This extension lead runs my wireless charging uh, pad. It also feeds this, which feeds my monitor, and it feeds this, uh, which is my standing desk. Unplug this, and we plug that straight in there. And then we turn this on. So things are starting to liven up. Standing desk, still working, which is a good sign. So in the end of here, we've got loads of USB ports. One of those does my ring light. I'm gonna turn that ring light back on. My monitor, we're at 70 watts, which is not a huge amount actually. I think we need to wrap this up a notch. We can plug in my extension lead. This extension lead basically does all of this stuff here. Plug that in there. Now we're starting to ramp things up a little bit. So now we got this charging off of it. We've got my iPad charging off of it. Turn the printer on. Now we're at 96 watts. Okay, so now my Milwaukee battery charger is running off there as well. Let's plug a battery in. Okay, and that is glowing. Okay, so now I can hear it whirring slightly. It's running at 200 watts, and it says that we're at 68%, and we can run for an hour like this. What else can we run? Let's plug this lamp in. Now we've got a lamp as well. And I nearly forgot my actual laptop. Get that charging off of it as well. So now we're running at 174 watts. We've got 67% battery left. So what can I do to ramp it up? That's on full brightness now. Ring lights on. My lamp here in the corner is on. My laptop is charging. I'm also charging an iPhone, AirPods, a Unilite, another MacBook Pro, a battery charger, the DJI mics, the Rode mics, my Epson printer, my iPad, a lamp. 
and a HomePod. We are running a heck of a lot of stuff on this and it says that I can run my whole office setup for two hours. That's insane. Now realistically guys, there's no way I'm gonna have all this stuff blaring in one go, but it just shows how much power can be stored and generated by a fairly small battery pack like this. So if you're looking for some kind of backup power to run several items for several hours, this is seriously worth considering. I am actually impressed. So I've been working off my home office battery powered setup now for over an hour and I've still got 54 minutes left according to this. Uh, we're running at about 100 watts and it's worked really, really well. But what I want to try is this now. So if I tap on this, I can turn everything off, right? Are you ready? Ready for a blackout? Boom, everything goes off, there we go. And then if I do this, boom, everything goes back on. How cool is that? So that I think is one of the features that really levels up the EcoFlow River 2 Max. It's got this app that you can monitor and control everything with, which just takes that portable battery power station thing to the next level. I'm really enjoying using it. I think it's gonna be useful for the guys on site as well, whether they're powering up customers' routers or powering up lights and charging uni lights and all that kind of stuff and camera equipment. I think it's gonna be really handy, but I'd love to know all your thoughts in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't done so already too. And if you wanna find out more about this product, There'll be information below where you can find out more. But either way, thanks for watching and have a great day.